someone mention SES 6? Booyah, baby! It's time! It's finally here, 1 6 scale SES 6. Hoo-ha! What's going on, me fam? Check this out. Damn, that baby's huge. That's what she said. SCX-10-3, <clears throat> JL Jeep Rubicon. SCX-6, damn, it's a huge beast. SCX-3, early Bronco. Just look at the damn tire. Look at the tire. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. And this is the stock. I'll come back here. And that's the stock. SCX3 needle, needle grapplers. Damn, look at these, these wheels. Jeez, look at that hex. That is robust. Yeah, but still would prefer to see it metal, being the fact that it's got so much power, but this, this, this will do, unless you're doing stupid stuff with it. Yeah, yeah, and of all the tools I, I get, I need to get new tools to fit these, this is 2.5, sheesh, but yeah, check out that, hex, damn, and shocks, jeez, basically this SCX6 is still all the same, just upgraded to a Bigger size. I'm pretty sure you don't want to see a review on this thing. The only thing new on this baby, let's see. Oh, it's a lot easier to get to the pins. That's for sure. Damn! <laughs> well, me familiar, let me get to these other pins. Yeah, the little ones. I have to fight just to get them on and off. Oh, let's see where that. Look at that. Shablam. Come on, fam. Come out. What's going on in there? Damn it. I can't even pull it out. That's what she said. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Where's it at? Hold on, me fam. See what's going on over here. Okay, Willikers. Sheesh. Now let's take this body off. If it comes off, I, I took the pins off. Yeah, all four pins. What's holding it off? Damn, this body's heavy. God, they weren't kidding. Jeez. Well, the wires are neatly put in there for the... Oh, it's got lights! What? The wires are neatly put in there. I like that. How come they didn't do that with the SCX3? Damn! Jada, look at that size of that motor. Holy shenanigans! Chihuahuas. Wow, it's really nice and neat in here. Look at that motor. Jeez, that transmission. Yeah. Look at them links. It's almost the size of my finger. I just can't get over them shocks. D 
get housing. We'll get more into that after I drive all this stuff, but I really just want to drive this thing already. So, really I just wanted to, I, I have a big pet peeve about vented tires. I do not like vented tires because when I do have a spur in my heel and I want to go drive this thing in the water, I can't stand wet soggy foams and then they deteriorate faster after they get wet and then they smell bad so yeah and then the only thing is you got to take off the hub before you take off the wheel so but can you imagine putting some thick foams in here man you really gotta fist it oh my bad <laughs> But yeah, so um, waiting for the uh, program card to come in because I am going to program that ESC right off the bat because it's at 6.0 volts. I want to set it at 7.4 volts because um, right off the bat, I'm, I'm going to get really frustrated with that servo. So, but the only thing is that I got to watch because if I switch back and forth, that 7.4 will burn out this uh, this servo back here on the shift. So I will be upgrading that. I'll be upgrading that. It's just gonna take me some time to save up my pennies because man, that Reese Beast uh, servo is ain't cheap. You know, one thing I gotta say, I'm getting a lot from people that. Everybody's saying that, man, this is too expensive, this and that. Okay, hold that thought. This motor alone right here is 300 plus, maybe. I mean, that's on the low side. The ESC, three, 300 plus. Nah, this servo is probably about 60 bucks. This servo is probably about because this is stock, so this is probably about, I don't know, give or take 60 to 100. So I'm just uh, guessing here, I mean, pretty much as far as I, I, I spend on my stuff. Um, so, not let alone these tires. Look at the size of those. We already know how expensive these 110 tires are. Can you imagine these tires? Come on, now, these are BFGs, baby. Sheesh. Golly, what more do you want? So for the price of 1,100, I mean, think about it. You're gonna upgrade the, ES, the, the servo to Reese Beast. That's 400 plus, okay? You don't need to do nothing with this motor and, and this ESC. This is already bomb proof. You're gonna upgrade this one to uh, probably a Reese uh, Raw 500 or triple five or triple four. I mean, all those will work fine in here for just a shift. And that's gonna be a hundred bucks. So think about it. If you were just to get this kit, you're gonna be paying more than, you're gonna, than you would to get this RTR. I guarantee it. Not let alone this body. I mean, look at some bodies out there. I know, okay, for example, this is just for example. I like my, I, I like the, the Traxxas Blazer. And I've been wanting to get that so bad. But that's up like 200 bucks for that body. Can you imagine this body? Dang. And then talking about the prints. Say at night customs come out with some prints for this thing, right? Come on now, baby. This thing going to be... I get these prints over here for this daily, for example, like this, okay? I remember I bought some prints. I think that it came out into the cart like 300 something bucks. 300 something bucks. Can you imagine the prints on this baby? That's gonna be double or maybe triple the price for these prints. And it comes with an interior. I don't know why to do wearing a cowboy hat. He country. Because I know these country guys up here in Kansas City, Missouri, they be driving Chevys and Fords. <laughs> God, I just can't believe it. SDX6. It's about time. I mean, this is going to blow up on the market. 
If you haven't gotten one of these, I suggest you get it. I mean, I I just bit the bullet and I, I, I got it because this thing, oh, I mean, I don't even need to see reviews to want to wanna go and get this thing. I mean, think about it. The bigger scale, the more realistic it's going to get, the more stuff you'll be able to do versus... You know, the, the tenth scale. Tenth scale is a little more technical. The bad beast over here is going to be a little more brutal. Huh? I mean, come on now. I really, really advise to all you, me familia, to go out and get this SEX 6. This is not a paid promotion or nothing like that. This wasn't given to me. I'm telling you right now, just go out there, bite the bullet, and get one of these. I mean, you'll be so happy that you got one of these. You'll be like, man, why didn't I get this sooner? I'm telling you. Just remember, uh, IC5 connectors, and these are males. You're going to need females. Battery trays are so small for a big truck. Dang. I ordered me a Gen Z's Basher battery. Uh, fifth? 16, 16,000 mall. 15,000 mall. Uh, at 100 C. Uh, come on now, baby. That thing is going to be bomb. I'll be running forever because I ain't not carrying this thing back. I'm bringing my dog leash with me. Dragging this thing back to the truck shoot. So and then and then I got me. I have a regular three, three S, uh, sixty two hundred, sixty two, sixty two hundred mall. That's for backup. And then uh, third backup, I got me a, a another three S. I have a three S, uh, five thousand mall. They're all hundred C. I don't get nothing less than a hundred C. Um, yeah. God, I can't wait to get this thing out on the trail. It's just kind of a little tough. Mm, been in a lot of pain. Getting out there, it's kind of a little rough. It's getting colder. But anywho, I don't know if I want to upgrade the transmitter. It's running still the same. DX3. I mean, it runs pretty good. So it's got a thumb steer. What more do you want? Here's a better close up. Spectrum Firma Crawler 120 amp. Sensor brushless smart ESC. Very good ESC. It's a very good one. I'm, I'm not tooting anybody's horn. But that ESC is pretty good. Uh, as far as I understand, I mean, God, it's so slow. And the gearing they did on this truck. The gearing is perfect for a low speed and high speed. Come on now. You got your, this is your, there's your uh, servo, your 5905 uh, steering servo, which is kind of, mm, it, you can operate it on seven volt. So 555.50 uh, ounce inch torque at seven volt. Six volts, five to, it is way under. And then you got your Spectrum uh, Shift Servo, 201 ounce torque. Man, if, if, if that, I don't know, that servo is, is weak, I, I don't know. I might take that servo out and put it in one of my 110 crawlers. <laughs> so yeah. Dang, LED lights included. You got your 1200 KV motor. It's a damn soda can, that's what it is. Come on now. It's a soda can. Jesus. It's actually one of those mini, I drink those mini Pepsi soda cans. It's actually the same size. It really is. Go get one and, ch and check it out. And you come back and tell me. Leave down in the comment. It's 120 amp. Now this thing, they said that motor, this motor is really not rated for a 4S, but I'm putting a 4S in this baby. Now, I, I don't do anything really stupid, especially for the cost of this thing. So, yeah, it's, it's, 
I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be able to take us. I've already talked to a lot of people that's already put this thing on 4S and it handles it, so. Two, two speed metal gear transmission. And uh, yeah. Damn it. Multiple battery locations. BF Goodrich KMC KM3 tires with black rhino wheels. Damn it. Got the green and there's the, uh, this is this is the silver. You got the green. Aluminum adjustable coil over shocks. You got your heavy duty AR90 axles. Universal joint axles. Three link front, four link rear suspension. Wild board drive shafts, which has never failed. And I actually put those wild board drive shafts in almost all my trucks. So yeah, I was debating where they get the green one, but they only had a silver one. So I don't know, maybe all the special guys got the green one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Double, <laughs> there you go, y'all. Damn it. So yeah, like I said, <clears throat> I'm gonna be plugging up all my little, uh, Damn it, I just said it earlier. I, I lose train of thought here. I don't I don't like my wheels to be uh I was gonna say ported. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. I said it earlier in the video. I'm gonna be plugging up all these holes. I'm gonna throw a uh, um, hot a little bit of hot glue in there. Then I'm gonna throw some duct tape. <clears throat> Monkey tape right there right up around the rim and then uh, first i'm gonna be driving it like this without any weights and then we'll see how i feel about weights everybody knows my trucks are heavy and this is already a 27 pound rig damn it so yeah check out the running videos if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like i said it helps out my channel to grow and uh, don't forget to check out Operation 11 Charlie. Uh, helping vets heal through the art of RC. Cool? So, uh, hope you guys like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys later out on the trails. Huh? Peace!